Listen, plumbing is not my thing, okay? All I know is that the, um, the, uh, whatchamacallit thing exploded. Well, how long before you can send somebody out? Done. Uh, uh, uh sh sure, yeah, call me back, but we might have it under control anyway. Thanks. You fixed it? Yeah, I rigged it. I think it'll hold till they can replace a part. What? Pardon my ignorance, but when something explodes, isn't there usually, like, mm -hmm. smoking rubble, flames, stuff like that? You got lucky. It was a small explosion. <sighs> so we're safe until they can send somebody out. Absolutely. So why aren't you smiling? <sighs> Mike, I feel terrible. You, you came over here and saved the day after I've been such a pain about all this stuff with Nikki. You were just looking out for your sister. Well, I think I might have overdone it. I mean, Nikki's love life is none of my business. She's a big girl. She can look after herself. Yeah, that, that might be true in theory. But just in case you happen to run into her, could you not mention you were here tonight? Where do you put it all? It's my hollow leg. My cake leg. Hey, you know slouch in the martini draining department yourself there. I have an amazing tolerance for alcohol. Yeah, you got an amazing couple of things there. Yeah, sure. Observe the following. Hmm? Wait, I got it, I got it, I got it. Yeah. I can do this. Don't let him see. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Don't laugh at me. Wait a second. Okay. <laughs> Nice. You okay? What do you see what I do for an encore? <laughs> Why should I have to keep it a secret from Nikki that your boiler exploded? <laughs> because we don't want her to explode. And I should have to explain myself to her because... Well, no, no, you don't. It's just that, you know, I mean, she has a thing for you. You know that. Okay, I'll talk to her and straighten it out. All right, and while I'm at it, I'll tell her what a good sister you've been. <laughs> well, good luck with that one. She thinks I have ulterior motives. Like? Like wanting you for myself. You'll let me know if it gets to the mud wrestling stage, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it must be hell being Mike Kaznoff, women constantly throwing themselves yeah. at you. Nobody's throwing themselves at me, except for maybe a telemarketer or two. Now, I'm serious. I mean, you know how women want you. I mean, look at you in those jeans. What are you talking about? They're practically falling off. Yeah, but in all the right places. Well, a few more trips to laundry, it'll be the Salvation Army for these babies. You're kidding. No, you're not going to throw those away, are you? They're ripped. If I keep wearing them, people are going to start tossing coins in my coffee uh, cup. You are clueless. There's a huge market for ripped jeans right now. You could make a fortune in the fashion world. Selling these. You're nuts. Maybe. But maybe not. <gasps> Don't move. So, uh, how long has this little party been going on? Oh, long enough for Henry not to feel a thing. No pain, no gain. I think we're starting to attract a little attention. Starting, Nikki? The maitre d' is taking bets, so I'm just going to pass out first. Okay. Guys, are you sure? Henry will be fine once we get him outside for some fresh air. Okay, how are you planning on getting this six-foot windbag out of here all by yourself? Six, two and a half, macho man. The kindness yeah. of strangers. Okay. <laughs> Come on, big guy. Let's go. She loves me. See. She loves me some more. Yeah. Where are we taking him? As far away from a bottle of gin as we can get him. No karaoke. Stay still, will you? I, I got a date to impress. We used to ice skate here in the winter. I wish they'd freeze this pond over right now. Well, why don't you give Jen a call? I'm sure she could get the job done in no time. <laughs> you know, she wants to hate you. So she plays the ice queen. Oh, you mean it's just an act? I've seen the way she looks at you when she thinks you're not looking. She's so not over you. So, uh, what should I do? Do I leave her alone until 
she's over being mad at me, or do I force her to deal with me and risk losing her for good? Let's look at this like a case, okay? What do you know? That she loves you, right? Right, right. But she's uh, she's too damn mad to give in. Uh -huh. <laughs> Looks like our party animal's trying to bust loose. Come on, partner. Let's take a little walk here, okay? Uh -huh. Come on. Breathe. <laughs> Take it easy. There's some things down there that I'm kind of attached to. Oh, I'm so fond of that paint stain, too. Get that before I end up walking out of my briefs. And let you escape in my creation? Never. Gee, I hope you still respect me in the morning. <laughs> You trashed my jeans. No, we were going to throw them in the trash anyway. Yeah, but I feel naked now. Well, that's the idea. You feel sexy too, right? More like chewed up and spit out. Oh, I think you're hot and I'm the designer. This is a design. Come on, you look how every guy secretly wants to look. A little dangerous, a little street. The urban animal in his natural habitat. Okay, this animal's feeling a bit of a draft. Are we almost done here? Actually, No. Whoa, uh oh, what no, are you doing? Come on, come on, Mike, please. I know you think this is stupid, but no, there's actually something happening here. Like what? Blackmail? <laughs> I know what I can call it. Street jeans. The ultimate in low couture for the terminally hip. Huh? Uh, come on, Mike. Move. 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 No. Come on, think Vogue. Mike, come on, think Vogue. <laughs> Atta boy. How's Henry? He's better. Where is he? He's in the car. What? Snoring. I said he was better. I didn't say he was conscious. I, uh, I called Jen and left a message for her to meet me over here. Why? Why did you do that? Shouldn't you have talked to me about that first? You know the way she looks at you? That's how you look at her. Right, except I still want to be with her and she basically wants me to drop dead. <laughs> well, there is that matter of you breaking her heart. So why did you call her? You don't stay mad at somebody you don't care about. On the emotional spectrum, anger is right up there next to passion. Really? Well, they didn't teach us that at Our Lady of Mercy. But um, I, I don't suppose that you informed Jennifer that I was here when you invited her? I may have left that detail out. <laughs> Sounds like Henry's risen from a martini dead. Hey, Henry, we're over here, buddy. Last one in is a rotten egg. <laughs> oh, come on, Mike. We're oh. almost down to the wire here. Make love to the camera. Who are you? Give me all you've got. <laughs> what have you done with Jennifer Munson? I am Annie Leibovitz. I don't know her. Then just pretend that I'm your very first girlfriend. Girlfriend, help me slow dance. Hello? Hey, it's me. Did you get my message? Uh, uh, no, no, I didn't. I didn't hear my phone ring. I'm a Snyder Pond. Where are you? A BRO? Get your butt over here. Hey, if that's the boiler guy, tell my discount. Do I hear Mike? Is he there with you? Well, yes, but only because he... Nikki? Nikki? She hung up on me. Where is she? At Snyder Pond. But she heard your voice. She knows you're with me, and she is not a happy camper. We're out of here. Was that Jen? What did she say? Geronimo! Well, we'll hop in the car, head over to Snyder Pond and explain. <laughs> that won't be necessary. If I know my sister, she won't waste any time finding us. To think I had you pegged for a gentleman. Have you had your quota of fun for the night or is there an encore? Henry, how was I supposed to know you'd believe that we were skinny dipping in October? A beautiful woman, two able-bodied men, a little splash-flash. You do the math, Sinclair. 
So, so what was the phone call about? I'm doing my sister a favor by calling her to have her bump into you here. And who do I hear in the background? Mike. He's over at BRO with my sister. So? So you are so naive. Stop! Stop them! Stop! 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 Who? Panic. The thieves who stole my clothes. 